counting from lightning till thunder. Let's check it out. We have five practice problems for you. I'll solve three, and then you have two to do on your own. They're very simple. You're given the time it takes from the time you see lightning until you hear thunder. You take that number of seconds, divide it by five, and you get your answer. So let's check out problem number one. If you count three seconds between seeing lightning and hearing thunder, how far is the lightning from you? So we counted three seconds. What do we do? We say three seconds divided by five equals three divided by five equals 0 0.6. 0 0.6 miles. Okay, the answer to one is 0 0.6. We can check that on our sheet. One is C, 0 0.6. Good. Two, if you count seven seconds between seeing lightning and hearing the thunder, how far is the lightning from you? Seven seconds between lightning and thunder divided by five will give you the answer. Seven seconds divided by five equals seven divided by five equals 1.4. 1.4 miles. And it turns out every, every one is 0.2. So like one second equals 0.2, two seconds equals 0.4 miles, three seconds equals 0.6 miles, four seconds equals 0.8 miles, five seconds equals one. So you could do this. This is just two over five. This is 1.4. Let's look at a third one. I know these are pretty um, straightforward. This is the same way we calculate safe working load in this course. Three. If you count nine seconds between seeing lightning and hearing the thunder, how far is the lightning from you? Nine seconds this time. Nine divided by five equals, it's almost two, but it's going to be minus 0.2, 1 1.8 miles. Let's double check, see if we got our math. This, I did it in my head based on this scale. And three is D. Good, 1.8. Okay, that's how we do the problems. They're really straightforward, but why? Why does it work? Let's check it out. The speed of sound at sea level is about 1,125 feet per second. Speed of sound at sea level equals 1,125 feet per one second. And sound at 30,000 feet is only about 968 feet per second. Speed of sound at 30,000 feet, which is about where lightning originates when it's going from a large cumulonimbus down to the ground, is 968 feet per one second. Good. So we got that going for us. Let's find the average speed of sound over that distance from 30,000 feet to sea level. We could say 1125 plus 968 divided by two. So we can get the average speed of sound equals 1125, 1125 plus 968 over two equals 1046.5. Let's round up. 1047. 1047 feet per one second. So now we have the average speed of sound. 1000 47 feet per second. Let's go deeper. Remember this number, 1,047 feet per second. How far is a mile? 5,280 feet. One mile equals 5,280 feet. The average speed of sound is 1,047 feet per second. 1,047 feet per one second. In order to divide by a fraction, we invert and multiply. What does that look like? 5,280 feet per one mile times invert and multiply. Boom. One second, 1,047 feet. Oh, look at that. Now we got going. Feet cancel. What are we left with? Seconds per mile. Left with seconds per mile. And if we divide 5,280 by 1,047, the average speed of sound between 30,000 feet and sea level, what do we get? 5.0. Five seconds per one mile. This is the reason we can count the number of seconds between seeing lightning 
and hearing thunder and get the approximate distance away from us of the lightning strike. Cruise through these problems and keep going. We're good. Study hard. Thank you.